This has been a day of remembrance across the country and in Fargo. It's Peace Officers Memorial Day. Solemn ceremonies honored, honored officers who died in the line of duty across the nation, 129 last year, more than 50 already this year. Rolette County Deputy Colt Allery was shot and killed while trying to stop a man accused of stealing a pickup near Rolette, North Dakota. His name is now among 21,000 others on the National Law Enforcement Memorial in Washington, D.C. And his sacrifice and those of others marked by his brothers and sisters in arms here. Each of us knows that at any given time, we could be called upon to give the ultimate sacrifice. Yet we suit up every day. Every deputy, every police officer, every SWAT member, every trooper, every federal agent, and every other member who calls himself law enforcement knows that our next call for service could be our last call for service. Peace Officers Memorial Day is marked every May 15th. It was created by Congress and signed into law 56 years ago. Recognition for fallen officers comes during National Police Week's most notable event in Washington, D.C. as loved ones placed flowers in memory of the 129 officers who died in the line of duty in 2017. This is believed to be the biggest crowd in the memorial service's 37-year history. President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence offered unwavering support and encouragement to those who paid the ultimate sacrifice for the safety of others. To the families and survivors with us this morning, I know today is filled with sadness and pain. But today is also filled with love, the love of an entire nation. Speakers read the name of every officer killed on the job from the past year, including Officer Colt Allerys. We'll have much more on the ceremonies tonight on Valley News Live at 9 on Fargo CW and Valley News Live at 10. Later on Valley News Live at 6, tough day for a cab driver who surprised a few people at a Fargo business. The Northern Valley saw temperatures soar into the mid 80s this afternoon as the summer like trend in weather continues for one more day. Some drought conditions taking hold in the northern part of the United States. Some much needed rain on the way too. Details next.